My name is John Florine. I'm an employee at Sandia National Laboratories in California. Now today I'm going to show you a new bit of software we've just released. It's uh, Inferno, which is an operating system from Bell Labs, uh, written in the 90s, and it's uh, still maintaining some popularity today among, uh, among a small core of developers. Uh, it's running on top of, in, of Android on, a, uh, on an Android phone. That uh, This is a Nexus S uh, in particular. And so what we've done is we've replaced the regular Java UI with our own uh, Inferno UI, which we've just booted here. This is a freshly booted phone. And uh, if you can see at the top, there is a menu bar. And down at the bottom, there is another bar showing a battery meter and some open windows. Now, if I go up to the top and hit the menu bar, a menu drops down. It's a bit difficult to read on this camera, but uh, you can see there's several applications to choose from. If I was to choose one, say, uh, SMS. That'll give me a list of uh, SMS uh, conversations which are currently going on. And so if I pick one of these, uh, that's that's new. That's a, that's a way to enter a, a phone number to send a new message. Uh, if I was to get out of that and open the application again and pick, say, this one down here at the bottom, you can see that there's a. It's loaded a list of uh, text messages that have been sent and received, and uh, down at the bottom there's an area where you can input your own message to send. So if I press that, that gives it focus, and I press the menu button here, which brings up the keyboard, and I can uh, type in a message here on the keyboard. And if I was to hit send, it would send it. But actually, this is a. Uh, a fake conversation which I put together just to demonstrate some things. It's not for a real phone number, uh, so that won't do anything right now. Um, now, if I hit the back button right here, it will close the application. Well, first, it closes the keyboard, and then it closes the application. And now, down here at the bottom, you can see it's very difficult to see, but I've already got the dialer application open. So, if I was to press that, that brings the dialer application back up. Now I've got a phone number in there and I'm going to dial it. And so it started to dial. I'm going to put it on speakerphone. Oop. I hit hang up instead. Alright, well, I will try dialing this again. And I will put it on the speakerphone. And we should be able to hear it ring. Now, so this is ringing through uh, to my phone. We're talking directly to the radio demon, and you can hear my ringtone going off. That's good. Well, I'm just going to hang up. So you can see the phone works, and uh, we're also able to receive uh, SMS messages. Uh, we haven't handled incoming phone calls yet. That's the next thing on our list. So if I hit the home button right here, this will minimize the window back again. And... Uh, so we've, we've modified the basic Inferno UI to uh, make it more phone appropriate. Typically it looks sort of like a, uh, you know, your standard Windows or Mac looking uh, user interface. You know, you get a window and you drag it around, you can resize it and all that stuff. But uh, on a phone you have a limited screen real estate, real estate so we decided we better, uh, we better kind of limit it. So everything opens in full screen. Uh, we could even get a shell if we like. Uh, so we've just popped up a shell. And I could pop up the keyboard, I could do a ls, and it lists all the files in the root directory right there. We could, you know, we could CD around and check stuff out. Uh, but, you know, close the keyboard, close that application. Um, so we haven't written a lot of applications yet, but uh, it's, all the applications are written in Limbo. It's a very easy language to, uh, to program in. And uh, we, it uses the TK windowing... Uh, Windowing Toolkit, which is a little bit outdated, but it is very easy to, to write in. So it's, uh, it's pretty quick to get a new application put together. Now, as you can see, we've, we've bound the buttons to do our own thing. And so uh, we can do stuff like um, open, the, open the screen brightness adjustment by pressing, uh, holding down power and pressing the up arrow, or the up volume button. And then we can drag this thing on the screen to change the brightness. Um, and uh, also very useful in a uh, development operating system. If you hold down the power button and press home, it completely restarts Inferno. Now the brightness is all funky because it is um, 
well it's going to be a little bit too a um, little too bright to see with this camera but uh, that's what we've got for now and um, so I hope this is uh, given a little bit idea um, of what we've uh, what we've got so far but um, they, we definitely want more we definitely want more developers in on this and uh, we'd like you know help it'll be uh, it'll be of interest to uh, other developers who are not so thrilled with Java and would like to uh, look into something else.